the i2ONT Neon Toolkit plugin covers a range of methodologies that includes the management modelling of invoices over ontologies, invoices creation as instances of an ontology, conversions between different types of invoices across ontology instances, and suggestions of possible mapping between fields from the invoice and the data property belonging to the ontology. In training the system to learn the various relationships between the ontology and the invoice fields, surprisingly little configuration is required in order to load an invoice. All the user has to do is to complete the relevant fields in the ontology, such as project, ontology, invoice concept, and so on, as well as those for the invoice, such as invoice type, separator, and date format, before selecting an appropriate invoice. In this example, the invoice is from Dispro Farm, which is a Spanish pharmaceutical laboratory. With this now completed, the user can now commence with the detailed mapping in i2ONT. The i2ONT user interface allows for a simple navigation across the relevant invoicing concepts. The formal invoice model described in the ontology network is designed to ensure correctness and completeness of correspondence between the various electronic invoice representations. By simply dragging and dropping, it's possible to set all the necessary mappings between the ontology and the invoice. To help the domain experts, i2ONT provides a range of suggestions about the possible mapping between fields from the invoice and the data property belonging to the ontology. By double-clicking on the recommendation, the suggested mapping is introduced into the system as an established mapping. Ideally, when users try to establish a relation mapping, the system will check the invoice item's data type against the relevant data property. What's more, when the user wants to save the relation mappings, the system will check the consistency of those relations. This sequence provides an insight into the process of importing invoices into the system. The next process then shows instances of the invoice reference ontology being generated from the incoming invoices. Now we see how the generation process uses the mapping file defined in the previous mapping process. Finally, this process communicates with the ontology repository in order to create the instances. Here we see the process of exporting the selected invoices to another format. Whereas, this process reads from the ontology repository and writes new invoices from the instances selected. In October 2009, the i2ONT development team visited Laboratorios Kin, a leading Spanish laboratory specialising in oral care products and based in Barcelona. The purpose of the visit was to provide training on the use of the i2ONT tool to a number of the company's administrative and accounting staff. The training covered a range of topics, which included invoice management, mapping configuration, and invoice importing and exporting, as well as their conversion to different formats. The course attendees gave us some very constructive feedback and showed a high level of interest in the various themes presented to them during the session. We're pleased to declare the course a success in terms of both the practical benefit it provided and of the feedback we received. This bodes well for continued development of the plugin.